My name is Monica Bortolin Costa. I own a company called MBC Diamonds. I'm a diamond expert. I've been in this industry since I was born, basically, and uh, I own my own business for 25 years. Um, I'm specialized in diamonds, but uh, my company per se um, is um, I create bespoke diamond jewelry. have some men that come to me again most of the time because they want to sell whatever is left with them during the settlement and some other that has they, they have some extra income or they want to you know invest in alternative I can give them some suggestions about investing in diamonds it's a very delicate field and I think that there are certain things that even though you're not going to buy from me, you have to look out for. And uh, first of all, make sure that whoever you buy from is a legitimate company. Uh, is not just trustworthy, but legitimate. Um, there are associations that you can call and find out if this individual company are members, um, how long have they been members for. Uh, there is always a risk in investing. Uh, diamonds, per se, are an alternative investment. I think they are equal part. So my suggestion is that uh, you go to people or you consult with people that are reliable, they've been in business for a very long time, and uh, mainly, how can I say, there are certain things that, um, certain quality diamonds that you should invest into, some others that are not really worthwhile. Um, the good thing of diamonds is that the trend is that they are increasing around 6% per year. Uh, it's quite conservative as an estimate, but you know, if it's more, well, you did good. Um, second of all, it's a portable asset, so it can be moved around anywhere in the world. Um, it's tangible because usually you become the owner of the asset. Uh, but with that, it comes also responsibilities. That means that you have to take care of insurance. You have to store them in a safe place. So there are certain things that you have to be aware. It's not just about investing, it's about how to treat the investment. Uh, because you don't have uh, a, an, F, an FSA that you will look after your portfolio. You have to manage it. And it's a long-term investment. 